Hello and welcome to LFA's video on making a test tablet mix. This is where we're going to work out how our tablet mix is going to work in our machine. And we'll do this in a handheld press, a single station press, and a rotary press. However, it's important to note that a mix made for a single station press may not work in a rotary tablet press, and the same is likely for a handheld press. So you'd need to remake this mix for each different type of press. First, let's talk about what makes a good mix. It flows well. It's important your mix flows well through your machine. First to stop it sticking to your tooling, as this will cause broken tablets and parts of the tablets will get stuck in your tooling while ejected. Second is so it doesn't bridge or rat hole in the hopper, which will cause inconsistent tablet weights. Equally as important is compression. Your mix needs to compress and bind so that it's not too fragile and falls apart on contact. This can happen when the tablet is ejected from the press. It isn't overly abrasive. If your tablet mix is too abrasive, it will quickly damage your machine's tooling, which can be expensive to replace. And finally, it's consistent. Your mix needs to be consistent, ensuring you get an equal amount of each ingredient into each tablet. Today we're going to be using caffeine powder as our active. We're going to be making a simple 100 gram mix. We always suggest using precise scales where possible to provide accurate weights. First we're going to add 50 grams of our active ingredient, caffeine powder. Next, we're going to add 48 grams of dicalcium phosphate, which will help it flow. Followed by 1 gram of magnesium stearate. We suggest only going a few percentage points of magnesium stearate. If you find your tablets are capping, you may want to remove some stearate from your mix. Lastly, 1 gram of silicon dioxide. We'd now add this to our mixer. Now we need to test it in our press. Because we have made a 100 gram mix with a ratio of 50% active, which was our caffeine powder, and 50% excipients. Today we're going to make a tablet with 200 milligrams of active ingredients in. Because we made a mix with a ratio of 50% active and 50% excipients, this means that we're going to have to tune our press to 400 milligrams total tablet weight. To help work out the ratios, we have created a tool called the Tablet Mix Calculator, which is an extremely helpful tool to help you with your tablet mix. You can find a video on how to use the mix calculator in our video section or in the description below. Before you can tune your press to 400 milligrams, you will need to make sure you have the right size die. To calculate this, we use a method called bulk density. Again, you can find another video in our video section or in the description below. Once you know you have the right size tooling in the press, start by turning the machine over by hand and making a tablet. There are videos on how to tune each press linked in the description of this video. If the tablet is too soft, you may first need to try increasing the punch pressure and then turn the machine over by hand. If that doesn't work, you may need to add more binders. If this is the case, recalculate the new ratio and do a new test mix. How to test a mix is good. Look at the way the powder moves through your machine. Are the tablets coming out solid? Is the tablet ejecting smoothly? Is the machine making any unusual noises when ejecting? And finally, mix validation. While not always necessary, some people like to go through the process of mix validation, which will ensure you're getting the correct amount of active per sample. Please see our video on mix validation in our video section or in the description below. What to do when a mix isn't working. Your mix may not work the first time for one of the following reasons. It's too soft. If you find it's too soft, add more binders, increase the ratio of excipients. Your powder does not flow. Increase the dical and magnesium stearate, but not too much to prevent tooling wear and capping. If it still does not flow, you may need to consider granulation for your product. The powder sticking to the tooling. Again, you may need to add some magnesium stearate and silicon dioxide. Again, not too much as it can cause capping. Machines making a cracking sound when ejecting the tablet. This is due to excessive ejection forces. Increase the magnesium stearate and silicon dioxide Again, not too much. If this does not work, then consider coating your tooling. We're constantly developing our video section, so if you feel you're looking for something in particular, please get in contact and let us know. For more video guides, please visit www.lfatabletpresses.com.